Hello and welcome. Today what I'd like to talk about is facilitated diffusion. Now, as we've discussed before, diffusion is the specific process where molecules or ions move from an area of high concentration down a gradient towards an area of low concentration. And this gradient move requires no energy. However, please just keep in the back of your mind that all ions and molecules use kinetic energy to move with. So we're not talking about the physics of kinetic energy, we're talking about the addition of energy, for example in biology as ATP, to move a to move. So facilitated diffusion, like straight diffusion, is the movement of ions down a gradient. What does the facilitated mean in this sentence? Well facilitated in facilitated diffusion means that to move down the gradient If we just draw our gradient up again with a barrier in between this time. To move down the gradient, the ions are going to have to travel in some form through some sort of membrane or boundary. And commonly in biology, this is cell membrane of some sort. And if you remember back to our cell membrane story, and remind ourselves that cell membrane is actually a bilaminar phospholipid layer and that means it's fundamentally a lipid based layer and that means that ions that are water soluble cannot directly pass through the lipid membrane. So the facilitated word means that somehow in this membrane there has to be some mechanism to allow the ions to pass through the lipid membrane to follow through on the gradient. So what do we have in a membrane that allows us to do that? Well, if we remind ourselves, membrane has millions and millions of proteins embedded in it and these proteins have many many different functions and the protein we're talking about today is called a channel and these channels literally produce a channel through them so let's just redraw a little piece of membrane at high magnification and look at what goes on so here we have and I'm just going to draw this single thick layer like this to be the membrane. I'm not going to draw the biphospholipid layer, but what I am going to draw is the channel in detail. And the channel is a protein, a single protein, but down the core of these proteins is a channel or an opening. And it's not continuously open like this. These channels have in them gateways. And these gateways are swinging gates. Well, let's be clear, they're actually sort of molecular gates. And these molecular gates can be open and closed to allow or to stop the ions from travelling from one side of the membrane to the other. So these are gated channels. Now, in the case of many situations, these gates can be controlled by electrical impulses running down the cell membrane, or action potentials as we know them. And as an action potential comes down this cell membrane, it can trigger the gate to open. And that means that the ions can then follow the gradient and head 
from one side of the membrane to the other. And when the action potential passes away, the gate then flips closed again and stops the ions from flowing down that gradient. Now, if you were on the ball, you'd look at this and go, well, that's, that's fine and good, but there's one small issue on this, and that small issue is that if you keep opening gates like this all the time, in the end, you're going to have all the ions on the other side of the membrane. Well, not all. You end up with half, don't you, because this will even out the distribution. So to counteract that, you need another set of proteins in the membrane that will actively push the ions back out again at the appropriate time. Now remember that these will be against a gradient so they will require energy to do this. So these, this process is not called facilitated diffusion and that's a process that we'll talk about later. But in summary Facilitated diffusion is the process of ions travelling down their gradient, thus requiring no energy, but having to travel through some sort of channel, and in most cases these channels are gated. And those gates can be triggered by all sorts of various factors that influence a cell, and in many cases it can be action potentials or electrical pulses running down towards that channel.